Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently. We're gonna be going to a brand new restaurant that opened up here in Chino Hills at the shops. It is called Hotties Nashville Hot Chicken. So let's go check it out, see if it's worth it, and maybe give a review for it. Hope you enjoy. Here is the location, the exterior of the building. They are advertising their chicken and just how amazing it truly is. We take a look at the menu, very simple, and their spice levels range from no spice, mild, medium, and fire. And today we are going to be trying out their fire spice level. I love you. We can see that the food has arrived and it is just a lot of food. Look at this. This is the two slider combo. It comes with two big burgers and they are just stuffed with a huge piece of chicken breast. It is beautiful all white meat. You see that it has some type of slaw in the middle. It has lettuce and then the sweet pickles and then a side of their signature sauce as well as some Cajun style fries. And there's a lot of food honestly. For one person, I could barely handle this amount of food and my girlfriend was definitely struggling with her amount. That being said, it is so juicy. It is just remarkable how juicy the white meat is and just how hot the fire actually is. And my girlfriend does agree that it is pretty hot. She got the mild and it was honestly pretty hot itself. Now the quality of the sandwich itself was just amazing. It is so juicy and so hot that it just really has a great contrasting flavor and something that I can really enjoy as you can see just at the bottom of the container it comes in just all those juices and you just really want to soak up all the juices it comes with and all the fries. So we asked for a side of pickles and we were given these things. They come on the slider traditionally or on top if you do get a combo but they're very sweet and they contrast the spice levels coming from the chicken perfectly. As you can see, I was able to complete the meal itself, but as we look over to my girlfriend, she was not able to. She left more than half of it, and that just shows how much food this actual meal comes with. Okay, closing statements on Hottie's Nashville Hot Chicken in Chino Hills, located at the shops. It is very, very affordable. You do spend 11 to $12 for a combo meal, but it is so much food. Me and my girlfriend honestly probably should have shared the meal because it is a lot of food. Those two sliders are like two big sandwiches, something that you would get normally at like Chick-fil-A for like five bucks just in and of itself without the fries. Now, their fries are very good. They're Cajun seasoned, which gives them great flavor. The chicken is very, very juicy, and their spice levels are spicy. The no spice, I think, would be the way that people who don't want any spice and just want to taste the chicken should go. It probably will have a little bit of Cajun seasoning just to give it like flavor, but their mild was very hot and their fire was just really, really hot. It was really burning my mouth. It has a fiery sensation. It tastes like, um, like oil extract, so it makes it very, very hot. In terms of location, it is centrally located at the shops, so there isn't a lot of room to sit down. You know, me and my girlfriend had to sit um, along kind of like a bar stool area. Um, there's not a lot of seating indoors where they have their facility and unfortunately when the day we went it was rainy as you can see in the video So there wasn't a lot of possibility to go eat outdoors And we wanted to try the chicken as possible as fresh as possible as soon as we got it So that was a little bit of a, uh, a Hindrance, you know, like they don't have a lot of indoor seating or really accommodate for that But I mean at the end of the day the food is what speak volumes So the chicken I would overall rate it a 8 out of 10. It is very juicy It is very filling and there isn't a lot of breading that gets in the way so you're not just completely thrown off with the breading the fries I would give them a 7 out of 10 it is just very like they're pretty set they're, they're pretty sample um, uh, crinkle cut fries um, nothing like too amazing about them they are Cajun season which does elevate them that much more though drinks on the menu are um, just cans so there isn't a fountain drink area so everything that you do have to if you do want to get a drink there it is gonna cost you like a dollar fifty two dollars just because they are cans and they don't have any fountain drink areas and I can't really give a full justification for the entire menu because I haven't tried it yet. You know, they do have a leg and thigh combo. They have tender combo. You know, they have a wide variety of um, different options that you can get. There are only four or five things that you can really get on the menu as you saw in the video. 
but you know today's review that I'm doing is really only on the sliders so I definitely want to go back and do a full review maybe try everything on the menu once and then give a full estimation of just how good or not other parts of the menu are before what I can say the sliders was a very fulfilling meal you know they do have a very good combination with the bun which is very soft the Thousand Islands dressing which they use, their slaw that they put in the sandwich, the chicken, the breading, the spice level, and the pickles. It just works very, very well together. Overall, I would give Hottie's Natural Hot Chicken at the shops an 8.5 out of 10. You know, there are some things that could be improved on. Maybe, you know, um, a little more flavor in their um, spice levels. You know, hot is obviously just going to burn your mouth, so I kind of went in with that impression. But um, my girlfriend really couldn't enjoy a lot of it because it was so hot, and it was just a mild, so she really didn't understand anything. So I would give it an 8.5, as I said, out of 10 overall, because it was a very good experience. Um, some things could be improved. You know, um, their indoor seating could be arranged a little better to facilitate more um, cohesiveness if you want to eat there and bring it in that environment that they're welcoming. So that could be uh, an area of which they could improve. But other than that, it was a great experience. It is an amazing place. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below if I should continue going out to other places. Um, maybe go out to um, Los Angeles, uh, other places that I have in mind over there. Do uh, a couple more food reviews here in Irvine. You know, there's a lot of places down here in the OC to go to. Um, other places up in Chino Hills, uh, Ontario, Chino, Pomona, Fontana, that area. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you like the video if you do like the content. And um, yeah, thank you.